Assembling the LCD adapter for the Rambo LCD controller is actually pretty straightforward. Um, essentially you've got the circuit board, two ribbon cable mounts, and these components mount board to the uh, Rambo itself. Now, what you'll start with first is by inserting these two headers into the top of the board where the silk screen is. Okay, you go ahead and flip that upside down and solder it. Next, I'll go ahead and get these out so it's easier to manipulate. You'll go ahead and put these two components into the long section here on the board. And you might want to just tape them together with a little bit of blue tape or scotch tape and set them in place and solder it down. Next, you'll take this four pin, or I'm sorry, this six pin connector and solder it here. Come on. Doesn't want to fit. There it goes. Okay. You'll solder that in like so. And then you'll solder in this, and this is actually an 8-pin, it's not a 6-pin, and the one in my hand, this is the 6-pin, okay? So you'll have these connectors on this side of the board, and these two connectors on this side of the board with the silk screen. Next, we'll go ahead and get it soldered up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this, uh, get this soldered up. So like I said prior, you want to go ahead and put these in here. And just go ahead and set the board down. Make it easier to work on. And then we shall start soldering these things up. It's real simple and easy to do. Just a little bit of solder and a little bit of heat. What I'm doing here is I'm pinning the connector down. Just tack it in a couple of spots. That way it doesn't move around while you're manipulating the board. And the connector doesn't come out of the holes and such. So we'll go ahead and we'll get the rest of these done. As you can see, it goes pretty quick. I'm just going to flip it around and do the other side. That's all there is to that. Now, we'll flip it upside down and do the other portion of the board. I decided that I couldn't resist using the Rambo as a, uh, a soldering jig. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put these connectors in place on the Rambo board and we'll use them as a guide hold the connectors in place while we do our task. That goes there and the little six pin one goes here. Okay, so you get your double row of pins here, the long one. Uh, I think it's a 20 pin connector, I'm not sure. We have your eight and your six. And then what we do is we just take the little board here and carefully set that down on all those pins. You see how that all lines up like that really nice? Okay, so what we can do now that we have that on there is just carefully solder those into place. Now you're not going to be applying enough heat with a soldering iron to bother the, the Rambo underneath. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll just get these tacked down really quick. As you can see, this is really easy to do. You just need to be careful and take your time. I've been soldering for a very long time. So I tend to be good at this. Now watch me screw it up, right? I bragged about it, so that means I've got to destroy something. And we'll go ahead and just do the rest of these. Now I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the solder just starts to flow and then slump in the hole and you get a tiny little hill of, uh, of solder around the post. And it's not all the way up. It's just, yeah, it might extend all the way up. Depends. You, you really don't want to use a whole lot of solder on this. Soldering is, is definitely one of those things where you just want to use enough for the job. And you want to be careful that you don't get any cold solder joints. And I'm not going to, to explain a cold solder joint in depth. But what happens is you get a, a joint that's not properly melted. And the solder more or less congeals around the pin. And instead of making a good bond. And it'll be conductive for a little while. But over time, corrosion and heating and cooling cycles will cause the connection to fail. I suspect that if you search around on YouTube, you will find a number of videos that will illustrate what a cold solder joint looks like. And that is it. We are done, ladies and gentlemen. And now that little board will come right off there. Maybe. Oh, come on, don't fight me too far. There we go. And there we are. All nice and soldered up. Um, if you've got uh, some uh, flux wash, you might want to use that because it'll get the... If you, uh, you can probably can't see it, but the solder that I use has got flux in it. And that helps the solder flow and, and attach the material. And it looks like kind of a clear sticky glue there and you can actually just if you use solder that's water soluble rosin you can use a, a toothbrush under a water tap you just let it dry out before you install it and they also make a product called flux wash that is a chemical that dissolves the flux and it just makes it look for an eater board um, some people do it some people don't um, it's entirely up to you anyway there you go that is the LCD adapter and uh, good luck.